was a lot better to be in this this room after a win than uh, the the other room last year after a loss. Um, just like to give you know credit to this team and these boys behind me and, and the ones in that locker room. You guys have worked their tails off for a year straight to uh, to get back here. And uh, a lot of teams say they want to get back and they want to go to states, but this team really, really, you know, did the little things it takes to, to be a state champion team. And I uh, just couldn't be prouder of them. And I'm um, you know, kind of honored to, to represent them in the community of Damascus. Do you have any questions? Yeah, Coach, talk about uh, just what Jake means to the, to the program and the team. I mean, it, you know, seven touchdowns in a state final game. Talk about the offensive line and Jake's performance. Well, uh, you know, he's been doing it all year, and, you know, it's kind of a perfect marriage between the offensive line that's, that's tremendous and, and, a, and a great running back. And, you know, he means a lot to this team, uh, but he's, he's just one part of the team. And uh, I think he'd be the first guy to tell you that. And, and uh, you know, he's incredible. You know, when you have a, a back like that, you, you try to feed him as much as you can and, you know, have some other pieces that, to kind of counter what, what teams will try to do to stop them. And uh, we've you know found a pretty good formula this year. Coach, were y'all a little disappointed that practice wasn't in it? Um, I wouldn't say that. I mean, we, we just want to win. We don't care who's here. You know, they, they're a great team. And you know you never know who's going to be here. We're just glad to be here ourselves and, and beat whoever is, is, is there. Coach, what did you, you say to the team after the win? And what have you been saying to them ever since? Just that uh, I'm proud of them, and uh, you know that I love them, and they uh, they're just great kids. You know these these kids have been playing together a lot of them since they're little kids. You know seven eight year years old uh, in domestic community, and uh, I'm sure it's pretty special for them to, to kind of climb up and play together, and you know just couldn't be prouder of them. How special is it to have someone like Julian on your team with everything that he's overcome? Uh, it's very special. I mean you know. It, Football is just one piece of, of life, and it feels really big at times. But when you sit back and you step back and you think about what's important in life, and uh, you know, at, at, there was a time where he was fighting for his life, and I'm sure it's uh, pretty amazing for him to kind of go through what he went through, and then come through it, and then lead a team to, to a state championship. That's a uh, storybook ending kind of. Coach, how does the bond the senior class have compared to other senior classes with good masses? Well, there's a lot of good senior classes at Damascus, and this this is a special one, no question. There's 28 of them, which it, it's a little larger, so that you know that means they've stayed together. You know, a lot of kids drop off, you know, a certain number of kids each year, so not many have dropped off this group, and uh, they hang out not just on football field. They hang out off the field. You know, they they go get dinner and um, you know movies, whatever. Hang out with girls, whatever they do, they always hang out together and. I think it, that's what makes a good football team when they, uh, you know, we try to preach to build lifelong relationships, not just, you know, for the season. I want these guys to be best men uh, in each other's weddings and, and godfathers and all that stuff. Coach, it's all about playing in this atmosphere, in the stadium, walking to the sidelines of the Ravens walk, and just what it means to you that your team wasn't really caught up with the, the big game feel and just kept playing their football and kept well, um, we play a lot of big games at Damascus, and if you play in our hometown, it's kind of like a Friday Night Lights atmosphere. So they weren't this this crowd is actually probably feels smaller than our venue because it's so much louder and um, this, the number of the people is the same. So it's uh, you know, and, and being here last year, of course, gave them experience in that big game moment. Yes, sir. Coach. Uh Another great running back played in this stadium, Mr. Tavon Austin. Like, who would you rank your star running back right here up there with like some of the best players in the state? I think he is right there, the best. I uh, I saw Tavon play in the Crab Bowl and all that, and he was pretty special. And uh, this kid's just as good to me. I mean, if you know. He's just as good as anybody I've ever seen. He's as dominant of a high school football player as I've ever seen. Was it the plan to get him 50 touchdowns this year? Was that the no, nothing, <laughs> no. The plan is just to win a state championship. That's always the plan, and whatever happens, you know, it's hard. It's hard to be healthy for that many games. It's hard to, you know, you need a couple of good breaks to go your way, and, you know, that's a tribute to him, how he's kept his body, you know, healthy the whole season, too. 
Uh, Bert, Jake, uh, you, you guys, uh, and you had the 21 point lead against Franklin last year. Were you thinking about that at all, like during the first half, and you really just like put it to him? Was that in the back of your mind, or was that just? A of course, you know, at halftime, we, uh, a lot of guys are just preaching, you know, we can't come out flat just like last year. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, we came out last year and laid an egg. And, you know, this year, you know, we had to finish the game. We've been preaching all year that, you know, we got to finish games. And we did that tonight. Yes, sir, to back. Yeah, um, the last one we made the offense and Jake and their performance. But talk about the defense. I know their offense supports a lot of threats. Talk about the defense. I agree with you. Our defense has played outstanding the whole year. I mean, uh, even games where we kind of sputtered, uh, you know, Seneca Valley game and some other games, the defense has really been lights out the whole year. Um, you know, the way Daquan Grimes is our kind of our uh, quarterback of our defense, he's playing at an all-met level. As far as I'm concerned, I did not see a single player on defense better than him. And, uh, you know, they hats off to them. They, they really shut them down tonight and you know, gave up a couple passes, but they've uh, – they, they're great defense. And my, my defensive coordinator, Bucky Clipper, is a great coordinator too.